So World Bank's financial inclusion report uh, shows that financial inclusion is crucial for reducing poverty and boosting shared prosperity. It's uh, interesting that uh, half the working age population of the world does not have a bank account. That's about two and a half billion people. Um, the report shows that uh, most people, particularly the poor, can benefit from using basic savings, uh, payments, and insurance services. In order to expand inclusion, it's important to focus on government and market failures, uh, providing an enabling environment of good regulation and laws, uh, healthy competition for uh, financial uh, service providers, and good information allows them to embrace um, technologies that would expand uh, inclusion, such as uh, mobile banking. Also, innovate through interesting products, such as uh, commitment savings, or index insurance. But the report also cautions that it's important not to expand inclusion just for inclusion's sake, because we know that trying to make everybody borrow can backfire, just as we have seen in the global financial crisis. Expanding uh, financial inclusion responsibly also requires that consumers are educated about finance. Uh, but we have also seen that uh, standard classroom type education does not always work for financial inclusion. Uh, individuals seem to uh, learn the best when they are most motivated to learn, when they are uh, just like when they are starting a job or applying for a loan. We also find that they uh, tend to work, um, learn better uh, if the messages are reinforced through their social networks or provided through engaging channels such as soap operas.